Hi, welcome to Matt Holman Golf. Um, I found some footage here of Tiger in 2013 at the Players when he won. Um, I couldn't find any other footage posted of him, so I thought it may be um, good to put some online. I've also put him up against a representation of um, a ground reaction force model. So we can see all these little sensors here. This actually isn't Tiger swing. This is some footage from career, but um, you know it's from a pro with good technique. I thought it would just you know give you a good representation of how these forces and they talk about you know using the ground and pressure into the ground and there's different systems to to measure this. But I thought you know this model on the right hand side just gives a simple representation of what forces are occurring during the swing. So we look at Tiger on the on the left hand side here. So I think this spell he was swinging well. I think as the season went on or obviously after his last sort of gap he had his back surgery and back injuries. His swing got very short and started to create even more shuffling through impact and I think there's some problems that that came from that. But in this period I think his swing was, was in pretty good order. So you know neutral looking setup weight pretty even so you can see from our model you know he's sort of trying to feel pretty centered weight um, that would be even you know he presses maybe a little bit into the ground our model he's going to try and find an even balance point so tiger continues on you know he's got that slight move off with his upper body not a great move um, into his right side or i mean overly large um, so you can see our model turn up. You can see how there's definitely more pressure going into the ground. All these little dots are sensors on his body. So Tiger finish at a similar point. So you can see there's definitely the pressure is going into the ground, into this foot. So even in the guys that like this very centered swing, the pressure is still increasing and the weight um, moving into that right foot there. So if we... We just stick a couple of points on Tiger. So you can see he's got a little bit of movement into his right side. Camera's moving around a little bit. You know, sort of Tiger's signature move, really good move into his front leg, but the upper body really drives down and squats down. And, you know, I think really some of his problem is it tends to want to move down too much. It's a very powerful move, but sometimes difficult to control. But... He's definitely syncing it up this week. So you'll see our model goes on a little longer. But look really now how the pressure swaps from here's in our back. So you can see very much the pressure and the weight is centered through the, the back leg. And now in transition, you're going to start to see a, a, a swap of that. And look how quickly it changes from being on the right leg. And this is really where a lot of the power comes from. So he's now pressing. He's going to be maximum sort of force into that left leg. See this arrow shooting up here when the left arm is about horizontal with the ground, which is where Tiger is about here. So what he's done from the top there, the, the hips have moved forward a little bit. He's really pressed into the ground. He's increased the pressure significantly under the, the left forefoot. This is what they talk about, these ground reaction forces. And that's why the TPI guys, you know, really advocate practicing you know, squats in terms of in the gym and, and then, you know, jumping, trying to learn to jump high and put explosive energy because you're pressing into the ground there. It creates this really strong um, vertical force. And, and then it's from there, you know, it works through the pelvis and then turns into a, a linear. That's why Tiger has been reluctant to move away from this you know, down pressure squatting movement because he feels it's such a big source of his his power. And what you see in a lot of long hitters, so he has this real strong down pressure in transition, but actually impact, they often talk about the longest hits in the world will have sort of a blackout impact. So if we look under his, his left heel, you actually see a lot of guys, you know, the heel actually comes off the ground. So in our model on the on the right hand side here, you know, he doesn't create quite as much pressure as what Tiger would. So it's, you know, it's dissipating. It's really reducing down, but he's still got pressure under his left forefoot, but not much. And you can see, you know, it reduces, reduces, and then may increase as the weight finishes on the the front leg. So Tiger there will have very. He's gone from, you know, weight on 
his right side and pressure to now really the main pressures press through that front foot to now it goes from there the body will now level out if anything move up and there'd be very little weight under that left heel and it's that pressure down to upwards when it's you know transferred to the swing that is one of the main reasons for for the amount of power that he's able to generate and and then transfer into club head speed and then ball speed.